Okay, this is the P1 paper from October 2022. Uh, we're going to have a look at question number one here. I'll take time to have a look at this and we can see that this is just differentiation and it's going to be equation of a tangent for the second part. Everything should be fairly straightforward. Let's make a start with it. So part A says, can we find dy by dx? Yeah, well we can if for y, I've got x cubed over 4 minus x squared. I'm just going to change 17 over x and make it 17x to the minus 1 so that I can now use my differentiation to find dy by dx. dy by dx, when we're differentiating, multiply by the power, take 1 off the power. So I'm going to get 3x squared over 4. Same thing, multiply by the power, take one off the power is going to give me that. But just be careful with this last one. Multiply by the power. When we subtract one from minus one, we end up with minus two. If you're a good student, you should have done that so many times that we're not going to fall into any mistakes with that. Um, it asks for it in its simplest form. That's already done. You don't need to change it back to 17 over x squared. I'm absolutely fine to have that for part A. What does part B say? It says, we've got a point R and it gives me the X and Y coordinate. That's really helpful of them. Can I find the equation of the tangent at the point R? And then they want me to write my answer in AX plus B, Y plus C equals naught rather than Y equals MX plus C. Yeah, well, this is really straightforward. Okay, so um, if they've given me the point 2, 13 over 2, then as far as I'm concerned, I want M, X, 1, and y1 for my equation of a tangent and they've already given me 2 and 13 over 2. The only thing they haven't given me then is m but if I've got dy by dx to find m to find m dy by dx or rather m equals dy by dx equals 3x squared over 4 but where x is 2 so 3 2 squared over 4, minus 2, lots of 2, minus 17, 2 to the minus 2, and actually just working out what that works out to be. Stick that all into your calculator. Apparently, that works out to be minus 21 over 4. So over here now, I've got minus 21 over 4. But if I want to find the equation of a tangent... That's just the equation of a straight line. The equation of a straight line, get really used to using this formula. Y minus Y1 equals MX minus X1, where in the questions, just like this question, we've been given MX1 and Y1. They're over there, MX1 and Y1. So it's just a matter of substituting those things in. So I'm going to get Y minus 13 over 2 is equal to m, which is minus 21 over 4, x minus 2. Really useful to have it written down over there. It means that you're less likely to make a mistake in actually just substituting values in here. In fact, because I've got the iPad, I'm actually going to bring that down and put that down there. Now, we've, got, we've come across this quite a few times. When I get to this situation, don't mess around with this at all. Just multiply everything by the denominator. Multiply everything by 4 and then you can tidy it up afterwards. So we quite often get our gradient being some sort of fraction here. So I'm just going to multiply everything by 4, which is going to give me 4y minus, 4 lots of that is 26, is minus 21, x minus 2. Next line is to get rid of that bracket then, is equal to minus 21x plus 42. Just be careful, you want to get all your marks for this. And then they said, even if I was going to try and make this y equals mx plus c, wouldn't be particularly neat, would it? So no, we're just going to take everything over to the left-hand side here. 21x plus 4y minus 68 equals naught, And that's exactly what they wanted. So nice, easy starting question. Hopefully that makes sense.